And I don't get it. You don't have to make ugly clothes for it to sell. Here it goes, A's for ambition, be what I want to be, see past the situation that's in front of me. What is up guys, it's Joseph Arnon, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, it'll help out a lot more than you think. Let's get those numbers up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if you are a student or just someone who's young and just lives in the 21st century, you've probably shopped at 24, 20, Forever 21 more than a few times in your life just because it's cheap, it's easy, and it's right there. And they always have like decent stuff that you can like pair with other stuff that you already have. So it's just a really convenient thing to do. But I have noticed that specifically with um, their newer stuff, Forever 21's clothes are not that great design-wise. Like, a lot of the times the designs are bland. It has, like, weird fonts and graphics that nobody wants. Like, why would I want a shirt that says some something like, be happy or, like, um live your best life or slay like four times on it. It just doesn't make sense and I'm, I'm not sure they understand what demographic they're really selling to. But the other day I was at, um, I was driving by middle school and I saw a bunch of kids in like the new Cheetos collection that Forever 21 did. And it hit me that we're not their demographic. Like they're not looking for college students. They're not, they might not even be looking for high school students. They are looking at the middle schoolers that want to feel like they're older. So they buy stuff from Forever 21. And I thought, why don't we just bring their clothes to the 21st century, make it a little bit, well, it's already in the 21st century, but just modernize it. Like make it cooler, make it like more interesting to look at. And I thought, since I already did that with the YouTuber merch series, I could do that with the Forever 21. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so I picked out what I want to redo, and I'm going to log on to my laptop and just get into a quick editing session. Like, I've gotten comments like, how do you talk and Photoshop at the same time? Like, don't you need focus to do that? And honestly, it just comes so naturally now that I can, like, simultaneously do both at the same time. It's weird. Like... I promise you, you won't get it, I get it, like, it's just one of those things where, it's like, sometimes I edit while watching Netflix, people don't get that, they're like, how do you edit and watch stuff and listen, it's just how I work, but anyways, let's get right into it. So this first design, it's the shirt that says Futurism, the graphic is just weird, and it's slanted, and it's just a boring shirt, like, I might wear it, but probably after one wear, I wouldn't consider it, like, one of the cooler pieces I own. So I'm just going to find a picture of a regular black crew neck and try to edit it in that style. So going off of it, I want to find like a video game style because that's the style I really like, like classic video games. And the green on the shirt isn't as cool as I'd like it to be. I want it to really have like a more slimy effect, just a little bit more um, in your face type situation, you know. And I, want, I like how they had it sideways on the first one, but... There was just something about it that wasn't clicking, and I think it was just because the graphic just seemed a little bit too small for the surface area of the shirt, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like it should have been on a t-shirt, not a long sleeve. If That might not make any sense to you, but it kind of makes sense in my head. And since we're going with, like, the futuristic alien theme, I want to do, like, a desert landscape across the front, like, side of the shirt, just to make it look like... You're in a desert, you know, and you're um, stranded with nobody there, and you need water and food and whatnot. But, I don't know, lately I've really been into, like, the vintage video game aesthetic. If, if you've been watching my videos, like, some of the graphics I use are from, like, old video games. And I think it's, like, a cool era. And back then, it was such a new thing, and nobody was doing it, and everyone was just, like, enjoying the moment, creating, and having fun. And it wasn't about, like how many graphics or the pixels or any of that. It was just about cre creating cool art that people could relate with and people could um, enjoy their time with. Even if it was so sentient as a video game, they still it still served its purpose. And I understand before like the marketing majors come in the comments and attack me, I understand that it's... Um, it's just in their best interest to like use cheaper designs and like use less quality smaller graphics for their clothing because they're a mass clothing company and they're uh, um, what's the word there's a word for it fast fashion they're a fast fashion company so it's in their best interest to do everything quick cheap and get it out the door but I mean there's nothing wrong with me adding a little bit of integrity to it 
but I think it's just sad how much fast fashion has just taken over our ecosystem, our life, our economy. Like, it's such a huge chunk of, in clothing now, when back then that wasn't the case. And there's a lot of conversation now about what we can do about it, and I don't even know at this point. Like, <laughs> we might be too far gone, y'all. Alright, now I think I want to put a little spaceship in there just to add to the futuristic -y aesthetic and the, like, um, straight from Mars vibe. I know that it looks like I have some a bunch of penises on my shirt, but it's a little bit too late to fix that, so we're just going to go with it. Like, if you get it, just put it plain in the comments, I guess. I don't know. If it... I tried, guys. I tried, guys. I really tried. Now we're going to make the graphics look a little bit more futuristic. Alright guys, so that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I have a bunch of other videos that I do just about design and fashion and a bunch of other weird stuff. So if you want to see that stuff, go head to the rest of my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, also don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enemies F, we say fuck them. The irony is they inspire me to love them. G is past go and ignite the cash flow. When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last hope.